the faculty and staff of Bergen Community College. Please be seated and remain seated while the next procession is in motion.
And now, the reason we are all here, the Bergen Community College graduating class of 2017.
Please be seated. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kay Walter, the president of Bergen Community College. And on behalf of the Board of Trustees, the administration, the faculty, staff, and our students, I welcome you to the Bergen Community College 48th Commencement Ceremony, which honors our 2017 graduates. I want to extend greetings to the families and friends of the graduates who are watching worldwide via web streaming or joining the conversation on social media. This is an exciting time for Bergen as we're only a few months away from beginning to celebrate our 50th anniversary. And speaking of milestone numbers, graduates, Bergen Community College is once again number one in the state for associate degree graduates. Thank you all for being a part of our Bergen community and today's celebration. Now I would like to ask you all to re please rise for the singing of our national anthem by Ms. Sharon Mahat. Sharon. You may all be seated. 
At this time, I would like to introduce our distinguished platform guests. Stand and be recognized when your name is called. And for the audience, please hold your applause until all of our guests have been introduced. James Tedesco III, Bergen County Executive. Tracy Zur, Bergen County Freeholder Chairwoman. Mary Amorosa, Bergen County Freeholder. Dr. Joan Voss, Bergen County Freeholder. And your 2017 valedictorian, Marilyn Heiner. Jermaine Ortiz, keynote speaker and Bergen County Freeholder. Carol Otis, Board of Trustees, Chairwoman. Dorothy Blakesley, Board of Trustees, Treasurer. Gerard Carroll, Board of Trustees, Secretary. Mark Longo, Board of Trustees, Member. And your Board of Trustees alumni representative, Isaac Aleja Rejas. Victor Anaya, Executive Director of Finance. Dr. Ursula Parrish Daniels, Executive Assistant to the President. Dr. Yun Kim, Vice President of Institutional Effectiveness. James Miller, Executive Director of Human Resources. Dr. William Mullaney, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Joan Tushern, Commencement Grand Marshal. Dr. Alan Kaufman, Faculty Senate President. Dr. Jeannie Payne, Professor Emeritus, and your SGA President, David Delizio. It is now my privilege and honor to introduce Bergen County Executive James Tedesco III, who will greet the class of 2017. Thank you, Dr. Walters. I'll be quick because I know how cold you are out there. Good morning, Good morning, President Walters, Freeholder Ortiz, Chairwoman Zur, Freeholder Voss, and Freeholder Amoroso, distinguished faculty, graduates, alumni, and guests. Thank you for inviting me to share this momentous occasion with you. It is an honor as Bergen County Executive to celebrate with you at MetLife Stadium today as the class of 2017 graduates from New Jersey's best community college. On behalf of myself and the nearly one million residents of Bergen County, my congratulations to all of you. We are so proud of you. Today represents the culmination of years of hard work. Whether you came to Bergen Community College straight from high school or returned to education after spending time in the workforce, the class of 2017, all 2,000 of you is a diverse group of men and women, and that is the great strength of your class. Many of you from Bergen County, but some of you are from outside of the county, or even outside of the country. Within this class of graduates, there are people of different ages, races, economic circumstances, faiths, sexual orientations, and even political affiliations. 
You've worked alongside your classmates with different life experiences, with different perspectives. And I'm willing to bet that during your time at Bergen Community College, you found common ground, or even learned something from someone who is completely different than you are. That is an important part of the education, and it is one of the many ways that BCC has helped prepare you for future success. Beyond the differences that have shaped who you are and who you become, you're all sharing something valuable, a commitment to yourself and to your education. The diploma you received today is a receipt for the investment you have made, first and foremost, in yourself and your future. It is, an also, it is also an investment in your community and your intended professional field. You are role models, and your achievement today sets an example for all those around you, encouraging family members, friends, neighbors, peers to pursue their own educational dreams. By earning your degree, you have reached you have, re you have reached your, your pinnacle, and of course, you didn't do this alone. Your families and friends were there supporting you along the way. The talented faculty and staff of Bergen Community College deserve a big round of applause for their commitment to your success and the support of all students at BCC. Their leadership has provided you with the knowledge and skills to take your next step with confidence. Many of you will leave today to continue your education at a four-year institution, while some of you will begin or continue your careers in challenging and growing fields like healthcare and technology. No matter what your future plans, know that we wish you all good luck. Let me end with this. Two things that you take away today. First, the happiness of today. Remember this day every day. Remember how happy you were today and use that every day. And remember, one person can make a difference. Each of you have the ability to help someone or change someone's life. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, County Executive Tesco. It is now my pleasure to call the Chairwoman of the Board of Chosen Freeholders, Tracy Zur, to the lectern. Thank you so much, Dr. Walters. What an honor it is for me to be here, to stand on this stage and speak to the class of 2017. As you, as you heard, my name is Tracy Zur, and the chairwoman of the Board of Freeholders. And many of you are probably saying, what the heck is a freeholder? <laughs> That's actually the most common question that we get. And what is, what is important is that we are your county legislators. We take care of your county parks, like Van Son and Overpeck, the county jail, the homeless shelter, paving roads, alternatives to domestic violence, drug treatment, but most importantly, we supervise and oversee Bergen Community College, which truly is the jewel of New Jersey's community college system. That deserves some applause. When I first ran in 2012, we had seen cuts by the prior administration in the funding to this school. And my colleague, Freeholder Tonelli, and I ran to restore the funding, which we did, with all the support of all the other freeholders on this board and this county executive, because we are committed to educational excellence and affordability. This is important to me as someone who grew up in Bergen County but also as a mom of three kids, the oldest of whom is a freshman in college. I understand full well 
the importance of investing in our youth and educating our community. Personally, I can't seem to stop going to school. I'm currently a master's student at Rutgers getting my MPA. And so just like all of you, I just finished my finals and papers. And yes, I have the bags under my eyes to prove it. While the late nights of cramming and editing papers and reading for classes are incredibly exhausting, I look out onto all of your beaming and a little sweaty faces, and I know that you agree with me when I say that it's also amazingly rewarding. Each class you passed was another achievement. It brought you closer to your goal. But one thing I have absorbed in my later in life academic career is that life is about continually learning, about pushing the envelope, about trying new things and facing new challenges. So whether that learning takes place in a classroom or at your kitchen table, know that that cap and gown that you're wearing, which is a symbol of the completion of a monumental task, is not a sign that you're off the hook and done in the learning department, especially not now especially when we need to be questioning whether we are being fed alternative facts or real ones, especially when our employment landscapes continually evolve and require new skills, especially when your children turn to you to nurture their curiosity. We need to be engaged, to be involved, to be always learning. You've been given some valuable tools here at Bergen Community College tools that will enable you to find answers and to make lasting contributions, whether those are at work, in your family, or at the community at large. And by the way, we really need your energy and your perspectives and your insights in the community at large. The only way that we can make our county and our country better and move our communities forward is if you join us in trying to improve things. While you may be unsure of what your future holds, with what you've accomplished today, we know that you have bright futures ahead. Whether you came right from high school or came back to school to hone your skills, whether you're heading on to further education or to your chosen career, know that we have faith in you. Your families and the friends who are all sitting up there in those nosebleed sections up there, they have been cheering for you your entire lives. Can we just spend one second and give them a big round of applause? You should also know that we're cheering for you too. I have faith that all of you will make your mark. So from all of us in Bergen County, all of my colleagues on the Board of Chosen Freeholders, I want to say congratulations to all of you in the class of 2017. We're so proud of you this day and we'll be even more proud as we get to see what is yet to come. Thank you. Thank you, Chairwoman Zur. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Chairwoman of the Board of Trustees, Ms. Carol Otis, who will introduce our keynote speaker. Thank you, Dr. Walter. This year, I had the pleasure of returning to the Bergen Community College Board of Trustees after previously serving for five years from 2007 to 2012. In that time, I have had the privilege of working with men and women who shared a common commitment to community college students. One of them was today's keynote speaker, Bergen County Freeholder, Jermaine Ortiz. Freeholder Ortiz, the first in the history of the college to deliver the keynote at commencement, served on our Board of Trustees from 2004 to 2013, 
and again from 2015 to 2016. Of course, her latest term concluded due to her election to the Bergen County Board of Chosen Freeholders last November. In her time as a trustee and freeholder, Ms. Ortiz has proven to be a tireless advocate of students, fighting for their causes and supporting their interests. She has always remained active in the communities in which she had lived and made a profound impact on them. She continues in that capacity today. It gives me great pride to introduce today's keynote speaker, my friend, freeholder, Jermaine Ortiz. Good morning, class of 2017. What an exciting day as you graduate from Bergen Community College and enter the next chapter of your lives. Let's start by giving yourselves a hand. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a proud first-generation American, born to Colombian parents. I am also the first in the family to attend college, and I owe it all to my parents for all their hard work and sacrifice license. It wasn't easy for my parents. My mom and dad came to the United States in 1969 at the age of 16 and 21 with $20 and a dream. At such a young age, they wanted to give me endless opportunities. By leaving Colombia and coming to the United States, the land of opportunity, they came across many hurdles, among them not knowing the language and working jobs in laundromats, embroidery factories, but that never killed their spirit. They were fearless. Growing up, I always looked up to my mom. She was so strong-willed and, believe me, tough. She told me, as a woman, you always have to prove yourself. And as a Latina, twice as much. <laughs> the only way to achieve this is, is by getting an education, because no one can take that away from, from you. Her favorite quote was, your education is your armor, or how she actually said it, Tu educación es tu armadura. I was raised and educated in New Jersey and received my bachelor's from Seton Hall University in communications and Spanish. I was all set to become the next famous newscaster of Spanish TV. However, <laughs> my school loans were piling up and I was forced to reset my goals. While in this process, I found new ways to meet my desire for professional success. It is very important that you, as a setting your goals, you factor in financial responsibilities. So I took a leap of faith and the challenge of training as a financial analyst at a mutual fund company. In the end, having to reset my goals opened a new world of opportunities. I say to you, when life gives, gives you lemons, make lemonade. 
Not only was I able to train and learn from prominent investors on Wall Street, but I was able to go back to school and get certified. In five years, I became assistant vice president and soon after vice president. As a financial analyst, I was able to travel and experience the world. Paris, London, Madrid, it was fascinating. As a woman, this was no easy task in a male-dominated sector. I had to prove not only to myself I had, and to my colleagues that I was no longer the exception, but the rule. Outside of being a career-driven woman, I was blessed to marry my college sweetheart, who shared the same values. Together, we fed off each other's ambitions and achieved new career heights while building a beautiful family. We purchased our first home in Palisades Park. I never realized how much that would change my life. I wanted to get involved in my new community, and that's when I decided to run for the Board of Education and won. Public office has become a cornerstone of my adult life because it gives me the privilege to give back in a way that is meaningful and impactful. Two years later, I ran for council successfully and even became acting mayor, nine months pregnant, <laughs> at the end of my term. I felt an enormous amount of fear to accept this responsibility, but fear has always been my catalyst. So I embraced this challenge head on. Once I was a councilwoman, I was given another amazing opportunity and was appointed trustee to Bergen Community College. As a working woman and mother of two daughters, the pressure of giving back was tremendous. But I was not, I mean, but I could not have been more thankful to be part of an amazing institution. Bergen Community College is the gem of Bergen County, and I've been able to see the college grow from the opening of the Lyndhurst location, West Hall, and our beautiful state-of-the-art Health Professions Integrated Teaching Center. Fast forward 23 years, and my life took a radical turn. The company I worked for changed its focus, and I decided to step out of the finance industry and explore new ventures that gave me the opportunity to give back even more. I was humbled and overjoyed to have been given the opportunity to run for Bergen County Freeholder, an opportunity that marries my passion for family and my desire to serve others. Once again, God was at my side and I won the election. The excitement and nervousness to be in public office at a county level was beyond words. I was starting a new chapter in my life, just like you are. Just as I transitioned from trustee to freeholder, you're doing the same. Graduating from Bergen student to a career or a four-year college. So you and I share this common bond of transformation, a gift I'm very fortunate to experience with you today. As we graduate and become successful, we can never take it for granted. We must always look back to those who helped us and give back to our community. With all I've spoken about myself, I'm trying to encourage you as graduates of this great institution to pursue two goals. First, never let any obstacles stand between you and your dream. You may have to adjust, but you should never stop dreaming. 
always dream. Never accept no for an answer. Nothing is ever too small. Nothing is ever too grand. Find the inner strength that has taken you to this milestone and run with it until you have reached that goal set in your heart. Second, remember you must always give back. Like John F. Kennedy said, my fellow Americans, not, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. That has never been more true today. This institution has given you so much. Use those tools. Make a world a better place. When people need help, you must help. It is your responsibility to succeed at your goals, but also your obligation to help others succeed at theirs. In the current days of wall building, I believe we need bridge building. We, sh we should find more of what we have in common than emphasize what makes us different. That's why Bergen Community College biggest asset is its diversity and you. As you move on to the next phase of your life, look forward. Make your dreams a reality. Follow your heart. But always use that same heart to look back and improve someone else's life. If you do that in the end, you will always be able to say, hey, I made a difference, and that's what it's all about. Class of 2017, remember, the diploma you're about to, to receive is your armor. Now wear it and face the new world fearlessly. Congratulations, good luck, God bless. Dios los bendiga a todos, thank you. Thank you, Freeholder Ortiz. I would now like to introduce Dr. William Mullaney, Vice President of Academic Affairs, and Dr. Yun Kim, Vice President of Institutional Effectiveness, who will recognize some of our truly unique graduates and special people in the audience. Thank you, President Walter. At this time, we wish to acknowledge seven special groups with us here today. First, we recognize the faculty who provides inspirational instruction, support, and direction for the students of Bergen Community College. Will the faculty please rise? Next, we recognize the college administrators and staff who provide support and guidance to our students. We vice president, dean, directors, and staff, please rise and be recognized. It is also my pleasure to acknowledge some of the people who provided encouragement and love, as well as guidance and support to our graduates. Would anyone who is the parent of a graduate please rise?
Would all grandparents please rise? Spouses and, and significant others, please rise. Aunts, uncles, nieces, and nephews, please rise. Brothers and sisters, please rise. Children, please rise. <laughs> and finally, any grandchildren, please rise. <laughs> please give a round of applause for all the families here today. It is now my pleasure to honor those students who have distinguished themselves in their studies at Bergen Community College. These students were honored individually at their respective award ceremonies uh, earlier this week. I am pleased to introduce and congratulate these students and their families and friends. In announcing this recognition, it should be noted that these students had high overall GPA averages as well as demonstrated excellence in their specific disciplines. We are proud to acknowledge their achievements with the receipts of a divisional curricular and special achievement awards Please rise at this time. It is my honor to recognize those graduates who have achieved a per perfect 4.0 grade point average. We acknowledge, too, graduates who are members of the college's internationally recognized Phi Theta Kappa chapter, along with our many collegiate honor societies. Will these students please rise? Congratulations to the veterans of our armed forces who are graduating today. Thank you for your service. Please rise and be recognized. Veterans? Yay. I wish to congratulate the students who received Educational Opportunity Achievement Awards and became members of Chi, Chi Apsa, Alf, I'm sorry, <laughs> Chi Alpha Epsilon. Please rise. I want to acknowledge the special achievement of this year's Student Leadership Award recipients. Please rise. I want to acknowledge the Turning Point program students who are joining us here at commencement. Please rise. I would like to recognize the graduates who gave back their who gave back to their community this year by completing service learning projects. Please rise. Um, 
And finally, I want to recognize and congratulate the graduating students from our New Jersey STARS program. Please rise. To our 2017 graduates, you are the proof of the college's dedication to excellence. Among us today are members of the class of 2017 bound for top colleges and universities across the country, including Georgetown University, Columbia, Lowell University, Bailey Dickinson, Montclair State, yay, <laughs> Brown, NJIT, New York University, Rutgers, William, William Patterson, Stevenson Institute of Technology, and many, many others. As you accept your degrees today and move on to your next challenges, we ask all of you to always remember this. Wherever you go, you will always remain a part of our Bergen community, and you will always take a part of Bergen Community College with you. Congratulations and thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Class of 2017 valedictorian, Ms. Marilyn Heiner, who will share words of wisdom with you. What a glorious day. Members of the Board of Trustees, faculty and staff, honored guests, family and friends, and the graduating class of 2017. I am humbled and honored to be chosen the valedictorian of the class of 2017. This chapter of my life began one Sunday in March of 2010. My husband and I went into New York City to attend a Broadway show and out to dinner. My world changed that day. My husband did not come home. A coworker, Sonia, sensing my grief and loneliness, encouraged me to join her in her quest and register for a class at Bergen Community College. I had received my child development associate several years prior from Bergen, and my husband always wanted me to continue in my studies. I took a challenge, this was my time, and I registered for a class in psychology. I was amazed I enjoyed it. I studied hard, and I received an A. I felt a sense of pride that after all of these years, I could still do well in my studies. I continue to register for one class at a time since I work full time with infant and toddlers and was able to complete each class with an A. I never missed a class, I was never late for class, and all my assignments were completed in a timely manner. There have been many amazing people here at Bergen who will always be a fond memory. I had many amazing professors during my seven years. One that will always come to mind is last fall, I registered for supervised field work with Professor Melissa Krieger. I've been working with infant and toddlers for more than 22 years, and she brought that spark back into my life. Her gentle guidance and support renewed my enthusiasm for my profession. Another person I will never forget is Mr. Jean Calderon, a career counselor who helped me with several course changes. Each time I saw him, I asked him if I really had to take algebra. I used to say I made it this far in my life, and I'm doing just fine. But Mr. Calderon just smiled. 
I knew the answer, but each time I saw him, I asked him. When Mr. Calderon saw me a few weeks ago, the first thing he said to me, how's algebra? And we both laughed. Another thing, we spoke about graduation at MetLife Stadium. And Mr. Calderon said to me, wait until you walk out on this field. And Mr. Calderon, you're right. It is a maze. During my educational classes, I found a bookmark that said, what matters? And it states 100 years from now, it does not matter how much money I had in the bank, what kind of car I drove, what my clothes looked like, what my house looked like. But if I touch the life of just one child, that's what matters. What I'm hoping to do today, thank you. What I'm hoping to do today is touch one person and encourage him or her to return to school. I'm not a teenager. I'm not a 20-year-old. I'm a mature person. In several of my classes over the years, I've addressed the students to be dedicated to their studies, earn their degree early in life, and conveyed, if I can do it, you certainly can do it, frame of mind. If you're thinking about returning to school, try it. You can do it. Just give it a try. It is a Thank you. It is a thrill to represent the class of 2017 at MetLife Stadium. My husband was a giant season ticket holder since 1956. And after he passed, our daughter is the proud owner of the tickets. I have a long history with the Giants. My husband and I traveled to Yale Bowl, Shea Stadium, Yankee Stadium. We were there at opening day at the old Giants Stadium. I was there for the last game. I was here for opening day at this magnificent stadium. My husband and I used to travel with the Giants in the 70s and 80s. We were known as Mr. and Mrs. Superfan. We traveled before Big Blue. Wherever the Giants were, you would find Don and Marilyn. I've been to six Super Bowls, but not with the Giants. I've never been to a playoff game with the Giants. But today, here at MetLife, I feel that I've scored the touchdown of my Super Bowl and my husband has a sky view seat. I would like to congratulate the class of 2017 on their success. I would like to thank the families and friends who supported the students in achieving this degree. On a personal note, I would like to thank my parents who encouraged me with a work ethic that brought me to this stage of my life. My daughter Jennifer, who's the light of my life. My sister Barbara for her support. My friend Susan, who encouraged me every single day. My friends and co-workers, Julia and Cindy, who are here today graduating with me and you. And of course, my husband Don for his inspiration. I would encourage all of you to embrace what you have now. Continue in your studies, dream, follow that dream, and reach for the stars. Whatever life brings, no one can ever, ever take your education away from you. Be tolerant of differences. Learn from diversity. Volunteer. You all have a special talent. Share it with someone. Help someone in need. Be kind to one another. Be happy. Enjoy this day. And tomorrow, you will begin your next chapter. I thank you for this opportunity.
Thank you, Marilyn, for those words of encouragement and inspiration. I now wish to take this opportunity to extend my personal congratulations and best wishes to all of our graduates and their families as we prepare to recognize and honor the class of 2017 by conferring upon each of you your appropriate degree or certificate. But before we do that, I'd like to take a moment to recognize a very special individual that will become part of your graduating class today. Today we will award an honorary degree to the ultimate advocate of Bergen Community College. Throughout his life and career in public service, he has referred to the college as the jewel in the Bergen County crown and taken every opportunity to support the institution, not just with his words, but with his actions. He has dedicated resources that help ensure student success and provided a dedicated commitment to maintaining the college's status as the finest community college in New Jersey. I know this is a, a surprise, but I am proud to award today Bergen County Executive James Tedesco with an honorary degree, Associate of Science from Bergen Community College. So I know you're still cold, but let me say this is something that I will truly embrace and honor for the rest of my life. I've lived in the town of Paramus for almost 65 years. I've seen this college grow to the best community college in the state of New Jersey. As an elected official, I give you my promise that I will continue to support and make this college be and continue to be the best college in Bergen County. Thank you so much for this distinguished honor. County Executive Tesco, thank you for your advocacy. And we are honored to call you the newest member of the class of 2017. Um, Dr. Mullaney, where are you? You guys know what time it is, don't you? It is now time to honor you as graduates of the 2017 graduating class. President Walter, the candidates whose names appear in the program have successfully met the requirements for the associate degrees and certificate. Vice President Mullaney, Please identify the candidates for graduation present. Candidates, please come forward to receive your degrees. <laughs>
What's that? Who's that like? Olga Shakotinya. Samantha Matthews. Brendan Daly. Michael Fisher. Tara Agulto. Joan Rivera. Matthew Rojas. Fernando Abscal, Andressa Amaral, Agatha Rodolfa, Matab Tasahabdi, Ikra Shabir, Tabir Ghul. Tilda Kabashi, Sharon Mehak, Myra Casal, Diego Campagna, Daniela Liberto, Nikita Sharma Jawali, Charles Barreto. Jacqueline Bajin, Rebecca Barnes, Richard Defina, Noanne Pasquale, Destiny Macias, Christine Provo, Stephanie Cruz. Mary Alber, Aliu Jawara, Trevor Moriarty, Caroline Condaira, Angel Cadme Avadano, Christopher Martucci, Margaret Towadros. Jennifer Oliver, Raina Malave, Leslie M. Trastoy, Joshua Bedrosian, Camille Gasca, Crystal Creighton, Adriana Martino, Alexandra Shaposnikov, Nicholas Bueller, Jacqueline Vermeilen, Anthony Castro, Elvia Asensio, Mai Jung Ban, Catherine Gavin, Rita Chowdhury, Brianna Monette, Deidre Womack, Marissa Navarro, Hope De Pasquale, Timothy Trinidad, Jay Wu, Maria Petroska, Christina Dennis. Heather Goralaski, Karen Colon, Miles Williams, Donna Sisti, Kathleen Leal, Nancy Nepp, Dana Lavelli. 
Angelica Flores. Tristan Anderson. Daniel Gutierrez. Tanya Mamshuveya. Melanie Kundel. Rachel Coakley. Marianne Catabong. Yesenia Esquit. Brandon Escobar. Daniel Riley. Emily Davis. Randy Mitchell. Christian Oyos. Kimberly Held. Daniel Wachoslenko. Leslie Goldberg. Brian Luna. Anthony Maniscalco. Javin Graham Barber. Tatiana Wheeler. Leslie Fairlow. Richard King Lissy. Travis A. Malarkey. Jessica Cotrona. Cindy Schaefer. Nicole Wartell. Paul Gavarlyuk. Annabelle Senzari. Katie Reinhardt. Alexandra Krugel. Shayna Cohen. Heineken Queen Daguplo. Shella Marie Lanyes. June Enriquez. Alfonso Harrell. Caitlin Wilson. Janet Navarro. Melody Morales. Claudia Vidal. Chelsea Zalisco. Ariel Pasquale. Michelle Ann Fandetta. Jalissa Munoz. Shawnee Donaldson. Emily Tamburo. Tiffany Smith. Ori Shem Tav. Vivek Shukla. Tal Hirsch. Violet Rinky. Summer Cowness. Gemma Marie Limongi. Carol Choque Puma. Destiny Moscat. Danelba Cabrera. Edgar Guido. Ada Sagiller. Jason Sims. Susan Goines. Sophia Zapata. Justin Ramirez. Richard Delotero. Jeremy Arango. Aubrey Philippone. Mustafa Hassan. Mike Londano. Oswaldo Villanueva. Islam Fahami. Gerhard Garcia. Peter Boyer. Abdel Qadar Sardinia. Mohammed Hamed. Richard Jackson. Mihe Park. 
Kyle Kresge. Muhammad Laham. Osama Ibrahim. Ode Kwatmira. Ahmad Shasha. Jorge Cano. Christopher Gallego. Nicole Bueno. George W. Peterson the fourth. Diego Aristizabal. Janet Gianni. Haley Miola. Andrew Joseph Manzo. Charlie Sandoval. Roland Andrea Navarello. Melissa Rosales. Ricardo Rodriguez. Regina Smith. Layla Juachati. Chani Akipa. Sandra Barasumian. Maram Obed Alahamar. Christian Chrysologo. Maria Perez. Tamar Tescan. Mohammed Omar. Kaylin Joconetta. Carly White. Shannon Coyle. Dawn Opriahori. Angie Rojas. Jay Mon Wang. David Borecki.
Eureka Bland. Matthew Perino. Bryson Gang. Tomasa Martinez. Karina Kasume. Mariah Pagan. Deonara Sanchez. Monica Makarski. Sylvia Makarski. Harris Murick. Christian Abril. Kimberly Tiozong. Paulo Hippolito. Robert Patillo. Santiago Bernici. Michael Pisano. Steven Bedrosian. Jeremy Barton. Vincent Vives. Sarah Ventura. Jason Carter. Jean Dubois. Leanne Blanco. Samantha Lensang. Raphael Paredes. Brianna Brerens. Nicole Sanabria John. Nicole McDonald. <coughs> Noelia Renosa. Brandon Justiniano. Brenda Bernice. Christina Batar. Joseph Velate. Alex Blanco. Catherine Kioka. Alexander Cox. Jason Sanchez. Gabriela Isilovich. Eunice Manzano. Freddie Tiniel. Christina Conclaves. Brittany Pelusek. Aaron Barone. <coughs> Brian Latouf. Adrian Lohai. Justin Nunez, Christopher Vasquez, Raymond Canarosi, Robert Mansman Jr., Christine Galvez, Kimberly Hartman, Kelly Moran, Ian Coltart. Luz Kareen Butuneago. Heather Vanderhoof. Vanessa Torres. Daniel Sasarski. Ashley Nicole Barker. Terrell Jackson. Christian Ortiz. Elizabeth Zulaga, Luisa Manessis, Emma Wilson, <coughs> Jocart Maitland Ebeck, Georgina Reed, Tia Rose, Elisha Phillips, Elijah Phillips, Ashley Scott. Lucia San Pedro, Gabriela Sanchez, Megan Garazzo, Gazelle Rodriguez, Andrea Vilchez, Mariela Ramos, Karina Nunez, Shatiana Patel, Harness Shay. 
Vishan Patel. Vishwan Patel. Erica Padilla Toro. Marisa Giuliano. Nureles Parsons. Isora Garcia Jared. Majik Hidalgo. Karen Guzman. Jun Ken San. Manusha. Manusha Doughty. Rowan Zubai. Sarah Nime. Christy Kendall. Jacqueline Richardson. Asia Chandler, Daisy Nova, Tyra Williams, Jenny Kayo, Hakisha Gresham, Yemen Lee, Minjo Kim, Wander White, Christian Severio. Nancy Polio, Ashley Clark, Daniel Echevarria, Michael Ponce, Ruben Morales, Katherine Kennelis, Samantha Augusto, Victor Reynoso, Julia Karangi, Cynthia Fesco, David Delizio, <laughs> and the valedictorian for the class of 2017, Marilyn Eimer. Can I have the graduates rise, please? If I can have the graduates rise, and I would like to call Chairwoman Otis to the podium. so that she can award the degrees. Members of the class of 2017, by virtue of the authority of the Bergen Community College Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the associate degree or certificate with all the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining hereto. And now I'd like to call David to the podium so he can assist in the turning of the tassel. Good afternoon, class of 2017. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for allowing me to serve as your student body president during this year. With that being said, the graduates may now observe the traditional ceremony of moving the tassel from right to left. Congratulations, 20, class of 2017.
please be seated. In a few moments, the ceremony will end. But graduates, from this day forward, you are an important part of our legacy. You will always be part of Bergen Community College. We hope that you will continue your relationship with us by actively partner in the alumni network through our foundation. Members of the audience, please remain seated until the graduates have left the stadium. Thank you for sharing this commencement ceremony and celebration in honor of the class of 2017. Head for the water coolers. <laughs> 